Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D. Today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is a page of arrows and a wren. And it's now two tarot, uh, two court cards in a row. All right, so let's keep an eye out on this. The, the king popped up yesterday, king of uh, vessels, the heron. Um, now that I think about it too, that's a second bird. So keep your eyes open for that. Anyways, um, you know, the king of vessels was asking you, where do you need support? Okay, where do you need to um, have the support to help you out? Okay, and he's there to give you that support. Now this 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 page comes through, and the way I look at pages, pages are kind of messengers. All right, now this one's symbolic of the guardian of winter mysteries, and we see him in the uh, the hooded man, which came up here uh, not too long ago. Okay, and uh, you know the hooded man was was actually talking to him. You know, he was sitting on a, on a rock, this Wren was, and, you know, he had his light out, and he, you know, hey, how you doing, Mr. Wren? You know, what kind of message do you have for me? And, uh, you know, around my house, where I'm at, there's lots of Wrens. Uh, even at my workplace, I see a lot of Wrens. And um, <clears throat> even though they're the guardian of winter mysteries, you know, they tend to stay year-round in, in this neighborhood. And... Uh, you know, obviously in winter, they hunker down a little bit, but once winter starts to spring, they come out. Um, and like I said, pages are messengers. Now, this arrows is all about air, logic, and reasoning. And, uh, you know, we do have that two of arrows that's out there, that injustice. Okay, but for this, this wren to show up after the king of herons, it's telling me that, you know what? The king of herons looked at it and said, what kind of support do you need? I'm going to send you somebody, and it's going to be a messenger. And that's what this card is, this page of arrows, this wren. Uh, wren was one of the smallest birds. Um, you know, it also flew on the back of a, a hawk and reached the highest height. And, you know, they're also, you know, the smartest birds as far as I'm concerned. You know, because it was able to, you know, that's a mythology. It was able to, you know, talk to that hawk about, you know, flying as high as he could. You know, the hawk flew as high as he could, but that wren was on the back. And actually the wren was higher, so... Um, what this what this card stands for is studying the application. Pages are all about you know learning things, uh, trying to get a better understanding, um, almost like apprentices, apprentices to the knights. Knights are on those quests, and this page you know they, they go on those quests with those knights, and they're messengers back to the back to the kingdom, back to the king. Okay, so you know this this wren is studying how to use that logic and reasoning going through. And, you know, it's it's almost going back to basics. Go back to basics and think about what's going on. And we saw that um, here not too long ago, okay, with the logic and the reasoning, okay? When you're able to go back to basics and reflect on those basics, then you realize, you know, or get an understanding of, this is where you made an error, or this is, you know, maybe I put the, 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 the cart before the horse on this, okay? And you realize you need to pull back a little bit. And what that does is that gives you, you know, a better understanding of your situation. It also brings some wisdom because you realize, the, you know, the error that you have made. And hopefully it's not a, you know, it's not a horrendous error, but, you know, if you put that cart before the horse, all right, you still can't go no place. You have to have the horse pull that cart to where you need to go, okay? Now this page is, you know, with pages, they're also very useful. Um, you know, the way I kind of look at it is kings, you know, are seniors, uh, the queens are juniors, the, the knights are sophomores, and, the, you know, the, the wrens are freshmen. And, you know, when you're, as a freshman, when you're coming into new school, you know, you don't know what the heck is going on sometimes, okay? And maybe that youthful determination carries you forward and, you know, maybe you get into some circumstances where, oh, I didn't realize that it was the way to do things, okay? And then when you're a senior, you watch the freshman do it and say, you know what? I was there, did it when I was a freshman, you know? You end up growing and maturing, okay? And as a, as a, as a page, that's what they're supposed to do. Provide that message, okay, between the knight and the king and the queen, all right? And you learn from the mistakes, Learn from the apprenticeship that you're doing, and in this case, it's it's about, all about logic and reasoning. Now, if this is a if this is a person in your life, you want to look for somebody who's a good companion to see you through the trials and challenges. 
okay? And that could be that could be friends that join you on trips, okay? Uh, you know, recently I you know I biked Iowa, okay? And I was that I was that page of arrows that ran for my friends out in Hawaii. You know, as they came in and they started riding, I provided support. You know, I got to ride as well, okay? But ultimately, it made it easier having a vehicle there and somebody to, you know, go out and get food and somebody to, you know, set up campsites and stuff like that. So, you know, this ring could be a good companion to see you through trials and challenges, whether that's a project or work, through, uh, you know, relationship. You know, who hasn't gone through a relationship issue? All right, where you've, you've ended up talking with somebody else about what's going on in your relationship. You know, that's the type of person that that Ren is, okay? Even in a, a social setting, out with friends or something like that, you know? And you could see this at work. You know, if there's people there that are just have nasty attitudes and, you know, they're always, you know, creating strife, you know? Somebody there that you can confide in, somebody there that you can trust, you know, that's that Ren, okay? That Ren, uh, that Ren person, all right? They don't give up easily. They're keen observers. They learn easily. They are able to pick up processes and projects and, and things very quick because they're already in that logic reasoning mode, okay? They are able to, you know, discern things that you may not be able to see, and they may speak up about it too, okay? Very detailed on oriented, and if you've ever seen a wren fly, they're very dexterous and, and cunning. Okay, they look for their opportunities. And, you know, as a small bird, I'm sure there's a lot of prey that they have to, you know, dodge and duck and, and weave out of bushes and stuff like that so they don't get eaten. If this is an aspect of what's going on, you know, throughout your day tomorrow, um, it's going to be an opportunity where you may have to be daring or you may have to be agile. You Maybe you have to use some quick thinking, okay, in order to, you know, get, your, get some work done or, you know, um, you know in a relationship. You know, able to point things out because that logic, that reasoning is, is coming through. Um, again, if it's with that aspect, if they're determined, you know, to get things done, they're going to think things through right to the end. And you may be able to help, whether this might be you or somebody else. It may be that, that opportunity to say, you know what, if we do it this way, it's going to be done a lot quicker. Let's give this option out and see what happens with it. And if it's an event... Um, there could be a new skill on the horizon. Maybe you sign up for a new class, all right? It could be, you know, let's expand that skill set that you have. Hey, we want to get you out in the field, and, um, you know, I want you to go down to this guy and, and make a presentation, all right? Um, could be, you know, involved contracts. It could be involved, you know, if you're into the uh, art life, auditions. Auditions for your pottery, your painting, you know, maybe your music, maybe your acting, you know, an opportunity in that aspect. So with this, <clears throat> with the with the pages, with all the cart cards, they ask a question. And this page asks, "What do you need to overcome? What do you need to overcome going forward?" King of Arrows said, or King of Vessels wanted you to, you know, where do you need to support? I'm going to provide this this rent for you. Okay, what do you need to overcome with that? You're already happy. You got that ton of vessels flowing, water flowing all around you, you're happy. Everything's going your way, okay? But what do you need to overcome to maintain that happiness? What's that nagging feeling in the back of your head? You know, the green woman, there to nourish you along, okay? As you're moving forward, what do you need to overcome with that green woman? Speaking your truth. Have you spoke your truth yet? Maybe that's what you need to overcome. Maybe you need to speak your truth so others know what's going on. Let them know what you're thinking. What do you need to overcome when you're looking in the mirror? Seeing a different perspective of yourself. Maybe a different perspective of the situation. What do you need to overcome? What do you need to overcome to make that idea take action? What's preventing you from taking that action? What do you need to overcome? Is it a communication issue? Is it a logic issue? And then the other question is, what is the mystery... What is the mystery in how to face the challenge? You had that idea with that ace of bows. What's the challenge? What do you need to overcome? You know, those are all good questions that the Page of Arrows asks, especially with the cards that are up. Because last week it was all about party, and now you had a little bit of a hangover, and now you're thinking things through. You're looking at it saying, you know what? 
I can do this. I just have to speak my truth. I have to look within. All right. I, I, I have to know that the universe has got my back. All right. And you know what? I know I'm going to be happy with this process. I know I'm going to be happy moving forward because I've got abundant energy flowing behind me. Tons of energy flowing behind me. All these cups are just being overfilled. Okay. If you can just grasp a little bit of that momentum. Okay. Plus you got the king of king of vessels sitting there, you know, giving you all the support you need. You know, he asked out to the bird kingdom, hey, so-and-so needs support. Okay, I'll send a wren. You know, and here's this wren, that page of arrows. So that's today's message for the Spirit's Path out of the uh, tarot card deck of the Wildwood Tarot, um, the page of arrows wren. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Um, leave your comments down below. Share it with others. And this is D for the Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. And stay safe, everybody.